Do you think the 1996 dimes, newer dimes, are worth good money? Do you know what to look for? Did you ever hear about a 1996 W dime? Hey YouTubers, this is JNB. And welcome to our JB Coins family. We're all about coins and currency. We have new videos every day and are here to help you either start your new collection, expand an existing one, or just maybe find that one valuable coin that could change your life. In this video, we will talk about 1996 dimes, how valuable they are and why. And as always, we will give you their most recent sold prices. We will cover all 1996 dimes, including a very special W issue. So let's start with dimes struck at the Philadelphia Mint. In 1996, the Philadelphia Mint struck over 1.4 million dimes. They will bear a P mint mark. They were struck for business use, and they were very common in up to grade MS67. Then they become scarce, especially with the FB or full band or FT for full torch designations. Full bands or full torch are grading designations which can be applied to Roosevelt dimes. FB is assigned by PCGS, while FT is assigned by NGC. In general, the attribution indicates a coin with a strong, well-defined strike, as evidenced by full details of the torch located on the reverse of the coin. You can see a picture of a Roosevelt dime reverse and the torch. So in order to make a profit, you need to look for at least coins that will grade MS67 plus or higher. This coin is a perfect example. It is in grade MS67 plus full bands and it sold at auction for only $350. This is the latest sale of the dime in that grade. It's not a bad profit for a dime. The MS67 Plus is a nice grade, but there's still room to go to grade MS70, so look for them. The MS69, especially the first MS69 that's graded and sold, should bring very nice money. As for dimes struck that year at the Denver Mint, they struck almost 1.4 billion dimes they will bear a D mint mark. And they were also struck for business everyday use. The Denver Mint usually strikes coins in good condition, but it didn't happen in 1996. The 1996 D Roosevelt dime is common up to about MS67 condition, but only without the full band's characteristics. With the full bands, it's scarce in all grades, as the mint more than likely had weakly struck dies which resulted with weak full band details. The latest sale of a dime in MS69 full torch happened at Heritage Auctions, and this coin was sold for almost $500. But it was also in 2014 now since then, none of these dimes in that grade went to auction. So more than likely the next dime in the same grade will sell for more. Because population and demand are super important in a coin's value, as we're repeating constantly in our videos. 
Now, in 1996, the U.S. Mint struck a very special dime at the West Point Mint, and it bears a W Mint mark. We want to talk about this dime, but before moving on to the proof coins, since this dime is not a proof coin, but it's not a business strike either, since it was never released into circulation. The 1996 W. Roosevelt dime is the first United States dime which contained a W mint mark, with a mintage of 1,457,000. These coins were produced at the West Point Mint to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Roosevelt dime series. The coins were only sold as part of a special 11 coin mint set that was also released in 1996. Surprisingly, the 1996 W Roosevelt dime also has the lowest mintage of any mint state Roosevelt dime. Its mintage is even lower than the silver dimes from 46 to 64. However, like we mentioned previously, since the 1996 W dimes were not released into circulation, it's technically not the lowest mintage Roosevelt Business Strike dime. Regardless, it is still a very significant modern coin and an important coin in the Roosevelt Dime series. So if you're collecting Roosevelt dimes, you need to have it in your collection. And now about their value. In Mint State 69 FT, this coin sold at Heritage Auctions for $411. It's the highest grade known for the W dime with FT or FB designation. They are selling for less than the coins struck at the Denver Mint because they have a larger population in that grade than dimes struck at the Denver Mint. But again, a 1996 W dime is a very important coin in the Roosevelt dime series, no matter what their values are. So moving on to proof pennies struck at the San Francisco Mint. They will bear an S mint mark and have a proof coin finish, which is very shiny compared to a regular business strike coin from the Philadelphia and Denver Mints. The San Francisco Mint produced that year clad dimes and silver dimes. The 1996S proof dimes were sold at that time in proof sets directly from the Mint. Silver dimes in silver proof sets and clad dimes in proof sets. Silver dimes were also sold that year in the premier silver proof set. And to make this video more interesting, we will give you a 1996 Premier Silver Proof set. We will talk about the giveaway later. Going back to the 1996S proof dimes, silver or clad, we will tell you right now that these dimes are not worth a lot, but we will talk about them too and give you their most recent sold prices. And here we go. This 1996 S Proof sold at Great Collections for $25. But on average, it's worth about $18. As for silver dimes, this 1996 Proof 70 Decam Silver Dime sold also at Great Collections for $30. And on average, they're worth about 35. So as we said, they're not selling for a lot, which is very typical for proof coins. But from a collector's point of view, you need to have both of them in your collection if you're collecting Roosevelt dimes. The 96 dimes don't have any known varieties, which doesn't mean that you can't find them. They do have errors like this cool one, for example, which looks like it's the most popular double denomination struck with pennies. 
Many of them exist. And it's either a 1996 penny on a 1996 dime, or it could also be a 1996 dime on a 1996 penny, an 11 cent coin. This one, for example, is a 1996 penny, double denomination, on a 1996 dime, graded MS67 by NGC, and it sold for $1,380. Like we said, many errors on the 1996 dimes do exist, so pay attention to your newer dimes. We won't cover them all here, it's just not possible. But we want to share with you one more, and then we'll talk about our giveaway. Which is, this 1996 dime struck at the Philadelphia Mint, and it has an obverse split die. It's a very cool error. We love this one, and hope you like it too. This one sold for only $160. Not all errors are super valuable, but hey, for $160 you can find in your change, it's not a bad profit. And now about the giveaway. The giveaway is absolutely free, no purchase necessary, and it's open to our subscribers who leave a comment below this video letting us know why you would like to win this set. The giveaway starts at the time of the posting of this video and will end on November 16th at 8 p.m. Eastern during our Saturday night live stream. More info is below this video. So please read the rules on how to enter, who can enter, how to claim your prize in case you win, etc. Good luck everybody. We hope you like the set we're giving away and you like this video and found it helpful, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.